Today, we'll be discussing the physics of surfing, including when paddling, riding the waves, and doing base level maneuvers. At the root of all good surfing is the concept of the center of mass. The surfer you see paddling is able to do so because the center of mass and the surfboard's buoyancy are in line, thus creating a net force of zero and allowing the surfer to balance. If the surfer was to move back on the board, the downward force of gravity would move behind the upward buoyant force, therefore creating an unwanted torque, causing the paddling motion to be ineffective. Next, let's discuss the actual catching of waves. Some surfers let all the vitamin D go to their head and set out to ride waves larger than hotel buildings. When waves get this large, a jet ski assist is needed, because as explained by this table you see here, the larger the wave's amplitude, the faster one has to paddle to catch it. The first and second columns explain wave height and speed, while the third demonstrates how fast one must paddle to catch this wave. The fourth column shows how fast a surfer will be traveling following their descent down the massive wave space. We have examined the basics of riding waves including paddling and catching waves. Now that you are a certified expert, let's examine the next step, a maneuver called a cutback. This maneuver revolves around Newton's third law of motion. This law states that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. As the surfer applies force to his board to change direction, the wave pushes back with an equal force, allowing him to stay above the surface and rip into the maneuver with vigorous torque. To review our presentation, we have studied the physics of paddling, riding waves, and the maneuver known as the cutback. Now, you'll know the physics of the lineup. Thank you for watching. Oh, it's just like, dude, you get the best barrels ever, dude. Just like, you pull in, and you just get spit right out of them.